It's been over two years since we learned about the release of Arc 2, and personally, being a pretty big fan of the original Arc Survival Evolved, I'm pretty excited for the release of Arc 2. That being said, it's been over two years, and so far, the only thing we've seen for Arc 2 are these cinematic trailers, which have amazing graphics, but will the final game, or can the final game actually look like the graphics that we see here in the trailer? With absolutely no gameplay footage, and with the release date to be set in 2023, I decided to take matters into my own hands by trying to recreate Arc 2 inside of Unreal Engine 5 using some of the latest and greatest technology that Unreal Engine 5 has to offer, such as Lumen and Nanite, to get that cinematic look that we saw in the trailer. Okay, so here we are in Arc 2. Well, not really, but here we are inside of Unreal Engine 5.1. And I've set up this nice little scene here where we can walk around through the forest and kind of give you an idea of what Arc 2 might look like. We are, of course, using the latest version of Unreal Engine, which newest features include nanite foliage. So that means that every single tree, grass, blade, pretty much everything you see in this entire scene is using Unreal Engine 5's new nanite technology, which means you can have high detailed photorealistic assets that have thousands, if not millions of triangles, all in a single scene running at a decent frame rate. By the way, quick word from our sponsor, which is actually myself. Yes. I've sponsored myself. Do you want to learn how to make a multiplayer survival game inside of Unreal Engine 5? Now you can do just that by following my multiplayer survival game course that teaches you step by step how to make a multiplayer survival game inside of Unreal Engine 5. In this course, you will learn how to make things like a drag and drop inventory system, a complete crafting system where you can craft all sorts of different items, a harvesting system where you can chop down any tree, rock, or bush that you see on the map. We create nine unique weapons and tools, things like a rocket launcher, pickaxe, hatchet, rifle, bow, and so much more. We create an entire building system where you can build your own bases using foundations, walls, ceilings. We add a raiding system where you can attack other players and raid their bases for loot. Then we create this open world map that has different biomes, procedural foliage, this course was designed with beginners in mind, so if you are new to game development or Unreal Engine, you can take this entire course. I walk you through step by step, and I explain the why behind what we are doing through each lecture. All of the project files for this course are included, so you don't have to worry about purchasing any other additional marketplace assets. All of the lectures are recorded in 1080p with high quality audio. This course is currently in early access, but if you enroll today, you will get a big early access discount. The price of this course will be raised later on, but if you enroll now, you will get access to the entire course and all future lectures that will be added. So take your game development skills to the next level by enrolling in this course. The link will be in the description below, or you can head over to smartpoly.teachable.com to check out the course. So with that being said, hope to see you guys there. So the character that I'm actually using inside of this scene is not one that I created. It's actually from the Unreal Engine Marketplace from an old game that was called Paragon. I'm not sure how many of you are familiar with it, but basically there's a bunch of free character models. And this particular character model has a lot of the same sort of clothing style that we saw in the Arc 2 trailer. Where we had, you know, Vin Diesel and all the other characters that we saw in the trailer. So when I saw this character right off the bat... I I just thought of Arc 2 because, well, she pretty much looks like she could fit in as a character inside of Arc 2. Another thing was the fact that it's third person. So I believe Arc 2 is only going to be third person. You can't go into first person, unlike the original game where you could toggle between either first or third person, which I'm not entirely sure how it's going to play into the total gameplay. Me personally, I've spent a lot of time in the original Arc, mainly playing, you know, the PvP side, but of course, taming dinosaurs and building bases and stuff like that so i've spent a lot of time playing the game i have a very good understanding about all you know the gameplay elements and things like that so it's going to be interesting to see how it changes in arc 2 specifically how the gameplay is going to shift because it seems that at least from the trailer that the developers might be moving towards more of a story driven third person type game but obviously this is a lot of speculation and and we have still yet to see some sort of gameplay trailer showing us what the gameplay will look like so that's obviously why i went ahead and threw together this little scene to maybe give you guys an idea of of what arc 2 might look like given we're using the same engine 
foundation that R2 will be built on, and on top of that, using very similar assets that may or may not even be in the game. Honestly, the appeal of the original game to me, though, was definitely the part where you could tame pretty much any sort of dinosaur that you saw in the trailer, how you could equip a saddle onto them and ride them across the map. I think that was original appeal to me when I saw the game. And I think in the ARC 2 trailer where they show the more updated graphics and seeing the updated dinosaur models, I think kind of captured a little bit of that original nostalgia. But like I said, it'll be interesting to see how detailed are the actual dinosaur models, environments, character models. How is it all going to add up? inside of Unreal Engine. We have yet to see a game that utilizes all of the new features and I think we are going to be seeing a lot of new games here maybe in 2023 or most likely 2024 when a lot of studios pick up the engine and start using some of the newer features such as Nanite as well as Nanite Foliage, Lumen, Global Illumination to achieve the highest graphical quality game which reminds me of another game that I'm actually interested in which is which is Arcage 2 and interestingly enough that game is also built inside of Unreal Engine 5 and maybe I'll have to try and recreate part of the trailer in another video but that is another game that I'm excited to look at and see how they utilize Unreal Engine and it's also an MMO so we'll see how well it stacks up but so I also got this Triceratops model and I've set up this super basic AI so you can see this dinosaur kind of walking around the scene to give us sort of an idea of what it might look like roaming around in the forest seeing a wild dinosaur and to be totally honest with you there aren't many high quality dinosaur models that you can purchase online and you really kind of have to appreciate some of the work that the artists and developers put into dinosaur and creature models inside of games like Ark because there's just so many details and all the 3D models are custom made for the game. That's something that I've always appreciated about playing the original Ark Survival Evolve game. In terms of gameplay, I'm wondering how exactly the farming, crafting, all that survival game genre gameplay, how is it going to actually work inside of Arc 2? Are they going to do it exactly the same way as their previous game where you can chop down pretty much every single tree, harvest, you know, bushes, berries, rocks, all sorts of stuff? Or are they going to completely rehaul the system and redesign it in some new and unthought of way. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure how they're going to do it, but maybe we'll get more info on that whenever they decide to release a gameplay trailer. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I just want to kind of show off what I think Arc 2 might look like inside of Unreal Engine 5 by putting together, you know, a quick character model inside of Unreal Engine. If you guys want to learn how to make your own survival game inside of Unreal Engine 5, check out my multiplayer survival game course, link in the description below. You can get that early access discount if you sign up today. And yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video or if you guys have any suggestions on what sort of scene or what game I should try and remake next, leave it down in the comments down below. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed and as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.